Hello everyone and welcome back to Sled Dog Saga and we're here in our kennel and it looks like all of the festive holiday decorations have gone away. So the Christmas decorations and my gigantic little gingerbread house that we had over here are now gone but that's okay because we are getting ready for something else really 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 exciting in the family and that's not just you Moose. The addition of Moose has been very very fun. He is our male brown Labrador. We haven't even taken him out on a race just yet but we're gonna take him out pretty soon uh and we've also got harmony of course and then sierra domino striker and max our original three and we're getting ready to add puppies puppies to the kennel i'm so excited we just need to win the next big race so that we have enough money that we'll be able to take care of the puppy i have no idea if when you have a puppy like do the skills of the parents magically combined into a whole new dog that's like an upgraded version of the parents or is the puppy the same price to take care of as all of the other dogs where our bills go up with the more dogs we have look at this six dog registration it's six six thousand dollars that's a lot of money and we do have an employee that we are currently working with right now too part of me is kind of tempted to try to go to the next league uh, but then the dogs are gonna get even more expensive if I remember correctly So we're gonna have to think about that going up to the next league so that we would jump up to league five Would actually allow us to have a lot more money um, It from the races when you win the races you get more money the higher the league level you are And it would be kind of amazing to be able to get up to league level seven pretty soon too That would make me pretty proud to do that before the end of the month and the end of the this season of Slud dog saga which is coming up at the end of January who knows maybe I'll fall in love with the puppies and they'll just keep going on forever but let me think about this I mean we've got all of our dogs we've got space for extra dogs if I jumped I mean look how expensive it would be if we we were in league seven what are you talking about twenty six thousand dollars in bills a month my heart how are we gonna afford that I have no idea how we're gonna afford that I kind of want to try to qualify for the new league but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's focus on just having an adorable puppy right now so first things first i'm going to go ahead and snag the dogs who are racing with me so that they can go ahead and get some rest and then we're going to jump over and manny my mysterious you know what he reminds me of he's my mysterious trainer who helps me out with the dogs and he totally reminds me of bob from slime rancher who's just a bunch of slimes hiding in a trench coat maybe he's really like a schnauzer manny's a schnauzer hiding in a trench coat with a little beanie on and some glasses so that we don't know he's really like a dog i don't know he just he reminds me of somebody with a secret so i wonder what manny's secret really is oh well he's gonna focus on taking care of our dogs moose harmony and sierra are going to be training with him and let's go ahead and get the day started there we go and i'll give everybody their pets there we go i think i can just go down the line we've got so many dogs this is amazing i wonder if we should take moose on the next race too so that he has an opportunity since it's a short race seems like it's clear weather pretty good day seems like it would be a good opportunity to let moose have a chance to go out and start training he is a brand new dog and we really have to train his skills up so that he can go on the big dog races when we have five and six dog races or else we are gonna fall flat on our face so we don't know his favorite thing yet either so it might be nice to try to give him his favorite thing all right so let's go ahead or maybe <laughs> maybe i will just let him go after we have a puppy i don't know actually that may happen Harm Harmony, Harmony, you stay with me. And then who should we breed? I'm torn between Striker and Domino or Striker and Max. I'm really gonna have to think about that. I kind of feel like Sierra and Max go together and I feel like Striker and Domino go together. But it's really hilarious because that was the last thing I thought everybody would get so excited about. But a whole bunch of people are really, really, really excited uh, about the idea of Striker being with like different pairings. You guys, you guys amuse me so much. All right, Max and Domino need one more day of rest oh level four rope no I'm okay I don't I don't want a level four rope I'm happy with the ropes I have and I'm very happy with my extra my extra treat bag because that gives me room if I have fumble fingers which is a trait my fault that I have dropping the treats all over the place all right so let's go ahead and switch up to training our dogs I think we'll take harmony with us on the next race instead of taking moose with us because I think she would be good to train up a little bit more too. All right, there we go. And one more. 
All right, everybody is doing good. Oh, I need to get pets. Ah, I, I keep forgetting because some of the dogs have pets as their favorite thing. I think it's just Max. You know what? That is adorable. I really do love the fact that Max really, really, he's just such a friendly dog. Maybe we'll breed him and Sierra instead this next time. That might be kind of fun. I think their traits do determine what kind of puppies they have, so we'll have to see. All right, anyway, it is racing day, so let's go ahead and snag Harmony. She's going to come with us. And Max and Domino, of course, our will and lead dog. And we'll have to figure out what to do with Sierra, because a lot of you guys pointed out that her specialty is now in middle, but that's not where she's a natural at, which really threw me because her personality is steady. And I thought, for sure, and a whole bunch of people were saying for sure all personalities that were steady were middle dogs so we'll have to figure out if we'll let Sierra train multiple locations in the future all right so they're going to be training with Manny and I'm going to take these dogs to the race and also I apologize if I still sound a little wonky donkey I still have a cold but it seems really appropriate to play in the snow with my dogs like this when I still have a cold all right Domino Harmony and Max everybody is where they need to be good and it doesn't look like anybody is going to really get that tired. Harmony may get a little tired on this race, so we'll try to give her lots of perfect throws. The more perfect throws we give her, the more she will be ready to go, and her exhaustion level will change. All right, she's gonna be ready. Here we go, no, tree, why? Oh, dang it. All right, and we'll toss to these two. Good job, boys. All right, oh, no, why'd your fault kick in? No, 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 stay up, stay up there, buddy. All right, gotta feed Harmony. Oh, and now Harmony got tangled because of his fault. Okay, yeah, I'm really gonna have to keep a good eye on these guys. Oh, and now his, his like, good trait just kicked in too. Ah, tree. Oh my gosh, Domino, why are you having such a hard race? You're tangling Harmony up. Oh, maybe we were sabotaged by the rope sponsor people because they're annoyed that I'm not taking the, the rope sponsor. <laughs> Oh, I would totally I would totally believe that's what's happening right now. All right, we're in fourth place and Domino's gonna need his treat. There's for Harmony. Oh sweet, she snagged it right before the tree got in the way. All right, come on Max, come on. Two puffs, two puffs, there we go. Now he's ready for his treat. Throwing it a little early for Domino, but I'm a little nervous about him. And let's go for Harmony. Come on Harmony, come on, we got this. Yes, oh look at her, oh she, she. Oh, she tried so hard. That's okay, Harmony. She really, she gave it her all there. Did you see that? I, we really, I feel like we were sabotaged by the rope people because they wanted us to use their rope sponsorship. All right, did her fatigue capacity get better? Oh, Harmony. Yes, middle specialty one. So her skills have gone up. We needed a couple more perfect throws to really get her fatigue capacity up. All right, good. So you guys, we now have a little bit more money and we should have, yeah, we've got a, enough. We've got about $1,000 more than we need for the bills. The bills are in a couple days. So I, I'm really thinking it's time to, um, it's time to go ahead and breed up some puppies. And now I just have to pick like who's gonna have the puppies. I kind of feel like Stryker would, I still feel like she and Domino would be really great, but I really wanna see Max's puppy next. I think that's kind of what's getting to me. Ooh, so let's do this. We've got the money. Let's do it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to come over to breeding and we're going to choose two dogs from our team to breed for a puppy. Okay, I'm pretty excited. So when we look at everything to select the eligible dogs, you can see their natural aptitude, their skill, their fault, their favorite thing. Um, you know what? And the favorite thing being petting, I would really, really love if Max, our husky, could have another puppy that really loves being petted because that just sounds adorable. All right, so we'll go ahead and we will breed Max as the male. And then, I mean, let's see, rapport. Perfectly timed catches are really good. So perfectly timed catches are the, oh, and also a wheel dog, what? <gasps> you mean I can actually see what their natural, oh, only if I discovered it already. So her natural aptitude is actually also a wheel dog? Oh my gosh, Sierra, I had no idea. No wonder they get along so well. Let's go ahead, we're gonna have Max and Sierra have a puppy. So on we go. Uh, let's see, these dogs will be at the breeders and unavailable. <gasps> Whoa, hang on, okay. That changes everything. Unavailable for four weeks? Are you kidding me? Like, 
That's really bad. And then you would have like, okay, 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 step back, step back, because that's not good. So super potential for having a dog that would have that particular trait. Second wind. Uh, okay, so those are all like the potentials for the puppy. And then the breeder's fee is $3,000. Oh my gosh, that's not going to be as easy to breed our dogs as I thought. What am I going to do? Oh, I have to, ah, I don't know what to do. I know what to do. You guys, we're going to let Moose go. Moose is just so sweet, but I don't need more middle dogs if I have to send away some of my other dogs in order to make them uh, go and have puppies. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Moose go, uh, which is okay because we haven't really had a chance to bond with Moose and, and that's all right. And we're going to look for a new wheel dog and we're going to see if we can snag a new wheel dog um, and train him up just like we trained Max up. And then that wheel dog can be the stand in for when Max and Sierra will be off at the breeders. Oh my goodness. All right, so that surprised me. I definitely didn't expect that. Let's go ahead and I want to manage my dogs. Uh, whoops, all right, let's go up here. And there's Moose. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to remove Moose from the team. Uh, you can rehire past dogs, that's fine. He hasn't made any progress. I'm sorry, <gasps> no Moose! Oh, that was so sad. He made a little sad noise. But the good news is we have now saved quite a bit on our money as well. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that's how it was gonna go. And if we hired a new dog, um, so what personality does this guy have? What does Max have after all? His personality, where is it? Where is it? Specialty, rapport. Um, what is your personality, my friend? And that made me know that you were able in the, or you were a natural wheel. I'm trying to remember. Was it strong? I think he has a strong personality and that's how I knew, well, Sierra blows that theory out of the water because she has a steady personality and she actually does better at the wheel. Um, I wonder, should I breed Max and Stryker? I mean, we could do that. We could, but then I still need, and then I'd be down to a three dog team. Okay, so I do need another dog. Regardless of everything else, I do need another dog, and I think I need it to be a strong one. And Yoshi, what a name! Yoshi, that's so cute! Alright, and that's a strong personality. Samoyed. Um, no traits recognized, so kind of a gamble there if we got a new dog named Yoshi. And then let's see, obedient. I really need to see a lot of obedient dogs all over the place here. German Shepherds. Um, but what I really need to see... I guess we could hire Yoshi. Hmm. I don't think we have a same uh, Samo yet, yet either. So, wow, look at the size of it. Very attractive. Yoshi, what a little name too. So I think I would rename her Yuki though to go with snow, kind of classic, but let's go ahead. Uh, well, actually let's not hire her yet. Oh, darn it. Oh no, she joined my team. Oh, I didn't think that all the way through you guys. I really didn't think all that all the way through. So Yuki, I mean, the thing is, I think I, it cost more money. <gasps> ah, what did I do? Oh my gosh, I, I spent money we shouldn't have. I am a very bad dog, dog kennel manager. Oh my goodness, oh no, all right. Um, staff, I'm so sorry, Manny. I'm so sorry. This is just have to, I have to, I have to fire my staff again. No one's going to work for me anymore. They're going to know, oh, I don't have, I still don't have enough money. Ah, oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done? Am I going to go down a league? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is a travesty. But I want to keep Yuki. Oh wait, I did have a- I'm so sorry, Striker. you are a semi hit. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, maybe it's her sister, Striker and Yuki, oh my goodness. You guys, they do look like sisters, don't they? What have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh my goodness, I- I- we're just gonna- I guess we're just gonna go with it then. Oh boy, okay, uh, come on in, Yuki. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, my bills are due. What have I done? I had to take a dog off my team. It'll help with the money, but it was a little hard to say goodbye. Yeah? My bills are due? Qualify for a hard, higher league or make any cuts? Uh, I have no choice. I have no choice but to qualify. I can't afford. I can't afford it. My dues are due. Do I have enough? 
Oh, I had enough. Oh, thank goodness. My bills went down. They just hadn't, they just hadn't changed number. I'm so relieved. I'm just a little, I'm just a little ball of relief on the ground right now, kind of staring into space in horror at what I've done. Okay, you guys, I think we're not going to hire any staff right now. And if I want to be able to breed Max, and I'm pretty sure Sierra, I think that they would just have some really awesome puppies. But if you think maybe Max and Harmony would maybe have some good puppies too. Um, oh, she's natural at the wheel too. What the heck, Har Harmony, why? Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my dogs? I'm putting them all in the wrong spot. But if you think I should breed Max and Harmony because I can afford to let Harmony go, whereas I can't really let my top tier ones go, then let me know. But if you think I should go ahead and breed up maybe um, just my top dogs, the ones that I really love to see their puppies, like Striker and Domino would be really fun, or being able to take Max and breed him with Sierra, then, you know, let me know, let me know, we can, we can kind of work it out, but I think we need to take Yuki on at least one race now, it's going to be snowy and foggy with wind, um, and Yuki, she should be a good wheel dog, so I think I'm going to take, uh, her out to, to a wheel race now, all right, this is what we're going to do. I'm a little nervous. We're going to take Domino in the lead and we're going to take Stryker, who I'm going to say is maybe her sister. That would be fun. So that's her older sister from like an earlier litter. We're going to take Stryker and Domino out and then we're going to take totally inexperienced Yuki and then cross my fingers and all of our paws on the entire sled dog team that hopefully I will be able to keep her like really highly trained and I will be able to keep her happy and... Is her favorite thing petting? Darn, I was really hoping her favorite thing would be petting. But I hope I can keep her happy and safe on this race. So let's do this. We're going to take Harmony off and we're going to put Yuki on. No, no. And we're going to take uh, Max, whose specialty is the wheel, off. And I'm going to put Striker on because she's one of our best dogs for the middle. And then we're going to swap them over like this. There we go. And we're going to race Yuki. All right, let's do this. Yay! And Domino's finally happy because he finally, finally, finally got a snow race. So, all right, Striker. We've got your sister, your your litter, well, like, not your litter mate, but, like, your sister from another generation is now added into the family. All right, there's Domino. There's Striker. Yay! And she got her favorite thing, a perfect catch. Oh, that's awesome. All right, and let's get Yuki trained up. She is going to become a fantastic wheel dog if I can help it. And if that is what is in her personality, just watch it be like a lead dog is actually what she's meant to be. Oh, good job, Domino. So proud of you. There you go, Yuki. All right, good. So the more perfect throws we get with Yuki, then the better her exhaustion rate will be. The more that she'll be able to handle these races better. Man, everything has gotten so complicated from the long ago variety of playing Dog Quest. Yes, and we got some more fame because they snagged those streets at the same time. I kind of wish you could... Oh, oh, her fault kicked in. All right, we'll have to check out where her fault is in the future. All right, need to stop feeding him before it's... Oh, no, she's she's dodging. Oh, my gosh, I thought she, like, missed on purpose. What kind of, what kind of horrible fault could she possibly have? Yes, and there we've got a little bit more fame. Where it makes dogs miss throws on purpose. Oh, that would be really a terrible fault. All right, come on, guys. We're in fourth place, so we really got to kick it up. All right, I should have waited. Sorry, Domino. All right, and then let's get these two, their treats. Oh, oh my gosh, third place. Come on, first place, just like that. That's right, Domino. Do it, buddy, do it. You've got this. All right, wait. All right, there's for Yuki. There's for Striker. Come on, you guys. Domino, take the treat. Don't tangle. Yes, Striker, sorry about that. <gasps> Yuki! She had her favorite thing and her fault happen. Oh, thank goodness. We got first place. So that was awesome. We learned so much more about Yuki. Did we manage? Oh, just a little bit too short to get her fatigue capacity raised. And she got some fame. Awesome. And Striker's doing really well. Yay. And she had her favorite thing happen. And Domino had his favorite thing happen. So I think Yuki likes to win. That may be her favorite thing. So all of my dogs are super happy. That makes me happy. Snow, perfect catch. And now Yuki has her mysterious favorite. 
I am not going to hire another dog for crying out loud. Just because I have $2,000 in the bank does not make that a good idea. Oh my goodness. Now I know it's actually going to be a lot harder than I thought to get to the point where we can breed dogs. So maybe what we should do is try to qualify for the higher league um, and definitely get more dogs with various skills. So Yuki, let's find out a little bit more about her. Her fault that she had happen is... <gasps> It is bad catch. Oh my gosh. She will lose all um, mouth eye coordination when her fault kicks in and she might dodge the treat. Oh, that's terrible. That's a really bad fault to have. And then her favorite thing is victory. She will get a happiness boost from winning races. Awesome. Well, good for her that we rarely get like any spot other than first. So, all right, guys, we have changed up the dog team for sure. I did not expect to end up with Yuki. I did not expect to end up uh, finding out that breeding is so expensive and it will send our dogs away for a whole month. That's a, a lot to deal with. I'm, I'm we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna train up for that. And d is she a natural at anything? Um, we don't know her aptitude yet, so we're gonna have to just keep racing her in order to find out her aptitude and training her to take over the will position for Max, so that Max can hopefully go away and have a puppy that will enjoy being petted because I think that's an amazing favorite thing to have. But who should Max take as his mate? I'm starting to lean towards Harmony because it wouldn't hurt as much in order to send her away as it would if we sent Sierra or Stryker away. But I don't know, they've got some really good traits too. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.